All right, all right. Uh, man, welcome. Thanks, uh, thanks for jumping in on this uh, week's episode of Export Mentors Live. And man, you know, this, this is really becoming the platform to really tap into the horsepower of our Honey Badger Nation fast forward movement. And man, there's so many amazing rock stars and talent and, and inside of the community. And this is becoming the platform for all of those really badasses to be able to give value and add, add value back to the community. I'm super, super pumped. Um, this, uh, this week we've got Chase on and man, Chase is really going to drop some, some serious value. Had the opportunity to chat with Chase here right before the call and I'm super stoked and I've already started taking, taking notes here myself. So I know this is going to be a jam packed call and I'm super excited. So Chase, welcome. And, uh, Man, you want to you wanna give uh, everybody just a little bit of context um, about yourself and a little bit of background and then uh, off and running? Yeah, thank you, John. I appreciate it. What is up, EXP family? I'm, I'm really excited to uh, be here and share with you guys some stuff that's working in my business and make it as simple as possible so that you can really take it and run with it today and start uh, generating leads on Facebook. So, um, I am going to, uh, John, am I good to run with it? I got a little bit of intro about myself in the slides. Yeah, and, uh, I don't run run with it. And um, for all of you guys on with this, if you have some questions, use the chat box, uh, hit the Q&A, and we'll uh, interject and um, let Chase clarify anything that you guys may have questions on. But let's rock and roll. Awesome. So everybody, um, everybody should be able to see my screen now. Um, you think, that, uh, think that's working okay, John? Yeah, give us a thumbs up if you guys – um, in the chat screen, everything looks good. We've got Chase's presentation. Good to go. Let's rock. Awesome. Cool, man. So um, <clears throat> everybody, uh, I, I'm sure John already mentioned it while I was trying to set up my, uh, my Instagram live here. I, I, I wasn't hearing that well. But if you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the chat. Stop me at any time. We only have about an hour. I had a bunch of content that I wanted to bring forward, but I was able to scale it down a little bit and make it as easy as possible so that uh, you can really gather an understanding, a ground level understanding of Facebook and funnels. So um, this is how to use Facebook and funnels to generate qualified leads for less than $5 each. <clears throat> um, so my goals for this webinar is uh, to educate you on funnels and Facebook ads, um, give you the tools to get started today and really give you the foundation to build off uh, for more advanced and effective ads. Um, sort of as you build these skills, you'll realize that there's better ways to do this, uh, but that would take you know three, four, five hours to, to train you on now. So build the foundation first. Uh, it's kind of like you know starting with open houses, starting with door knocking, then we get into cold calling, then we get into farming. Well, this is really the foundation of Facebook ads, what I'm gonna show you today. Um, so who am I? Uh, I'm with EXP now in 2016. Uh, I, I uh, was my first year selling real estate. I got Keller Williams Rookie of the Year, uh, 20 million in sales volume the first two years, a, a couple of local San Diego awards. Really 50% of my sales came from online ads. And I kept getting asked time and time again, um, you know, what are you doing online? Uh, you know, how are you generating these leads? And so over the last few years, I've really been dialing it in and learning uh, and investing in high-level coaching, high-level masterminds to learn more and more uh, for my personal business. And I just realized that I can help so many more people uh, teaching them how to do these online ads. So now I run a coaching program called the Automated Agent Academy. And uh, I also run a free private Facebook group anybody can join called Real Estate Entrepreneur Group, where... Um, it's really just a, a full mastermind and network of all real estate entrepreneurs from agents to lenders to investors and wholesalers. So if you want to be in that group, uh, I'm always dropping tips, quick videos and bringing on, uh, bringing on guests to speak. So real estate entrepreneur group. Uh, awesome. So what we're going to cover today is uh, what is a funnel? I'm sure you, you've probably heard that term before. We're going to talk about what that is. Um, what my version of conversion is, what that means to me, uh, what is ClickFunnels, um, simple Facebook ads manager overview so that you can get started on uh, what everybody kind of sees as that complex, scary Facebook ads manager. Uh, we're going to talk about the easiest to use, ready to go right now, homeless funnel, which at the end, if you stay for the end of the uh, webinar, 
I'm going to teach you how to copy and swipe my funnel directly into your ClickFunnels account so you don't have to lift a finger. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to send leads right to KV Core. <clears throat> so what is a funnel and what is a conversion? A funnel is a set of steps a visitor needs to go through before they can be converted. Think about Amazon. When you go on Amazon, you hit the landing page, then you hit, you, you might uh, search for something, you look at the photo, you click the button to buy, you go to the checkout page, that's their funnel. And you might go left and right, up and down, but at the end of the day, the converting funnel is going to the page, opting in to click it to purchase, going to the checkout. That's the funnel. So think about that with real estate leads. We have a funnel we want to put them through that builds rapport, builds trust, you know, know, like you and trust you. And so you can use videos, you can use photos, you can use, um, you know, certain um, uh, uh, rewards that you've won to build that trust factor. So a funnel is going to take them through that process. And what that allows us to do is take the human element out of it and scale across a larger audience by putting through them, them through a funnel like this. And then conversion is when a lead or a visitor does something you want them to do. They take a certain action. Maybe it's they fill out a form. Uh, maybe it's they set an appointment with you. Maybe it's they call you. Um, that's known as a conversion. So let's take conversion a step further. I want to move that chat box so that you guys can see this, okay? <clears throat> let's take conversion a step further all right so the lead and funnel overview first we start with the facebook ad this is the ad that the lead sees i'm sure you've plenty of you have seen ads on your timeline or on instagram whether it may be uh that's the ad they're going to click it they're going to go through your funnel and they're going to opt in because you've given them a free offer you always want to give something of value that might be a home valuation report a buyer's guide, a homes list, uh, which is going to be the funnel I'm going to show you. Um, it might be uh, a, a quick video on tips to get more for your home. Something of value is called a lead magnet, and that's going to give them, that's going to make them want to opt in to your, um, to your offer. So then an opt-in conversion. The lead is then inputted into your CRM and is immediately gifted the offer via automation. So maybe you have it set up on a, the first email of a drip, or maybe you're using Zapier, uh, which is an automation tool to automatically send them the valuation report, whatever it may be. We're not going to get too much into that for this call. And then they begin receiving emails, texts, and calls via drip. Now, I want to focus right there. Begins receiving emails, texts, and calls via drip. The most important thing, guys and, and, and ladies, is to automate the systems, but not the conversation, all right? So we want to automate the emails they're getting by drip. We want to automate as many of the texts as we can, but we still have to pick up the phone and make that human element, that human touch, okay? So automate your systems, not the conversation. Then we have a lead conversion. Contact's been made. Great. You've qualified them with your pre-qualification script you set the appointment, you've conducted the appointment, and now they are a client. That's a lead converted to a client. Then you have a client conversion. The client has bought or sold a house, and now they receive your automated touches. Some people call it a 36 touch. They receive your automated touches, and we continue to use Facebook ads on them with retargeting ads. Some of the best, lowest cost automated touch programs that we can use that are as effective as sending out mail, but are a fraction of the cost. <clears throat> so what is ClickFunnels exactly? You may have heard of ClickFunnels before. Um, you, you might've heard of Russell Brunson before, one of the top internet marketers, if not the top internet marketers known to man right now. Uh, ClickFunnels is what I use to build my landing pages. It's an easy to use software that lets you design and build landing pages as well as manage your entire funnel. So what's a landing page? A landing page is once they click your Facebook ad, you take them off of Facebook and they land on a page. Very simple, it's a landing page. That's where ClickFunnels comes in so that you can easily design that landing page with drag and drop features and you don't have to build it completely from scratch with like WordPress or something like that. It's 
very effective, it's known to convert, and it's very easy to use. And you can manage your entire funnel. So you can put in surveys, questionnaires, you can put in rules so that when they take certain action on the landing page, other options show up, et cetera. I'll show you a little bit about that. But ClickFunnels is the software that I use that I feel is a, a necessity if you want to build proper landing pages. That's why I use ClickFunnels. <clears throat> so um, why do we advertise on Facebook? My favorite part is we can now catch the lead in action of their real estate interests before, hopefully before, they're searching on Google and on Zillow. So there's a lot of teams out there using uh, Boomtown and Sync and KV Core and the likes, all doing Google pay-per-click. There's a lot of teams out there that are investing heavily in Zillow, uh, and it's really breaking the bank there. So a, a, a great mentor of mine told me, do the opposite of everyone else. So if everybody's doing Google and Zillow, yes, it might be working, but what can work just as well to build lifelong raving fans, catch them earlier in the process at a fraction of the cost? Another reason why we do Facebook ads is we can start and stop the ads at a moment's notice. So if, for example, you get, um, you, you misjudged your, your monthly budget or you're extremely busy or you want to go on vacation or you just lost the key buyer's agent and you don't have a team to fulfill anything, you log on, you click a button, you stop the ad at a moment's notice. Very simple. You can't quite do that with Zillow and Google where you're into a contract. Another reason why is we split test and optimize for better results. Uh, one thing I really like to say a lot to students is create, implement, and optimize. So right now, I'm showing you what I've created. You'll be able to implement it, but it's not the end-all, end be-all for every market. You must optimize it. So Facebook gives you the ability to split test different photos, different copy, different landing pages, and you'll be able to track which ones are working the best. You shut down the, the inferior ones, and you scale up the really great working ones. Another great example is we can follow people everywhere. If you ever notice you are on Facebook and you are seeing a piece of furniture that you might've been looking at online from yesterday, well, the same thing can be effective in real estate if they're always watching you and seeing your proof of success, know you, like you, and trust you. So we can follow folks everywhere. Uh, I would love to get into pixels for this, but uh, that's a little bit more complex, so I kind of shave that off for now. Uh, so that we could get through the whole webinar. Um, and then lastly, who doesn't use Facebook? It's the number one social platform out there. If you go to any conference, what are the top agents telling you? What should you focus on? It's Facebook. So a Facebook ads manager overview. <clears throat> um, if you don't have a, a business manager or ad account set up, I don't have the time on this webinar to go over that for you. So just search on YouTube or Google it with Facebook, and there's Facebook instructions on how to set up your business manager and your ad account. Uh, you will need a business page. Most of you already have that, but we must take it a step further and create an ad account. And then if you wanna manage multiple pages, you'll need a business manager. So business manager, it's the master account where you create your ad account. Think of business manager as your team leader and every ad account is different agents on your team. All right, very simple. The ad account, I have one, Maher, uh, Maher Group Real Estate or the Maher Group. You can create uh, San Diego home buyers, San Diego home sellers. You can create multiple uh, accounts underneath your master account. Campaigns, that's the funnel in and of itself. So we have homes list campaigns, property valuation campaigns, uh, different campaigns that uh, we, we take the lead through a certain funnel to give them a, a certain lead magnet, that, that gift that we give them. An ad set is who you are targeting. Uh, it might be location, demographic, uh, income status, and then also within that ad, how much you want to spend. I recommend minimum $5 a day, split test two to three ads. You'll see over a three-day period which ones are working best, shut down the other two, and then start doubling that minimum ad spend. You don't want to take $5 a day to $1,500 a day because Facebook will shut down your account. So $5 a day to $10 a day to $20 a day, maybe $50 a day to $100 a day. You scale it 
periodically like that. And then the ad in and of itself is what the consumer sees on Facebook. <clears throat> so when you're in Facebook, we're going to do all this together here in a little bit, but when you're in the Facebook ads manager, you're going to see a few different types of, of, of you know, ads that you can choose. This is where people usually get confused. I got confused myself. You have awareness. Usually this is used to generate interest in your offer. You have consideration. This is traffic and engagement. And then you have conversion, which is high level targeting for a certain action. So here's my suggestion when you're starting out, I highly would recommend to use traffic, all right, to send them to your landing page. For retargeting ads, or proof of success ads, you just broke a record in a certain market or you just want a reward, I would use something like engagement and make the audience, people that like your posts and their friends for likes, comments, and shares. Okay, so quick side note, if you haven't gotten every past client or everybody in your database to like your business page, I highly recommend doing that because when you run these engagement posts, it is going to be absolute gold Boosting, uh, not excuse me, not boosting, but getting that that message and that offer out there to those folks. Awareness, what we talked about right here, that's more for like big corporations like McDonald's or Ford. They're going to be using awareness because they don't really have a direct offer that they're going to be able to sell you online. It's more constantly building that awareness. Think of that as like a TV commercial for a big corporation. And then lastly, we'll use conversion when you have your audiences super dialed in you know um, who's going to like clicking what, then we'll use conversion for taking them off Facebook. But right now, very simple, let's use traffic for the landing page and engagement for your retargeting ads. So the homes list funnel is what I'm gonna share with you guys today. Uh, why did I pick it? It's very easy to use, easy to set up, it gets a ton of clicks, it gets a lot of leads. Um, you can target a geographical area. So maybe you have an area that you farm in or a certain area that you really like selling homes in, or maybe you have an area, if you're somebody like, like Dan Beer, for example, who's got a ton of listings in a certain area, he can send a homes list for coming soon, um, co like a coming soon list, a not found on Zillow yet list of homes. Imagine how many clicks that's going to get in this type market. Then we can gather info on the homeowner. And I'll show you a little ninja trick with the ad, uh, with the funnel, to show you how to get seller leads out of it when uh, you're, not, um, you're, you're not really putting it out there that you're trying to get seller leads. It's a cool little ninja trick. So the traffic strategy, this is what you're going to use when you're going through the Facebook ads manager. So if you want to take some notes or do a screenshot, this is something... Uh, to do and I've categorized it by name so it's very simple and we're also going to do this together uh, so the homes list funnel traffic strategy we're going to use traffic uh, just set the name as uh, the uh, the ad set name is like real estate interest general we're going to keep it really general uh, the location is going to be relative to the copy what I mean by the copy is the text that is in the ad that's copy think of copyright um, also the location has got to be relative to the photo and relative to the list so you generated a homes list. I, I live, my office is in an area called Pacific Beach in San Diego. So the list that they're gonna get is a homes list in Pacific Beach. The house that they're going to get is, a, I mean, excuse me, the photo is a photo that they would find in Pacific Beach. And the copy, the text of the ad is relative to Pacific Beach as well. We wanna keep everything streamlined. We don't wanna do an ad for downtown and then show a, you know, a country, a state. We don't want to have text copy. You know, we want to make it very streamlined. I hope that makes sense for you guys. Um, and then age relative to the location as well. So if you're running ads for a retirement community, you don't want to do age 18 to 35. And if you're running ads for a college community, you don't want to be running, um, you know, the age for 55 plus. So let's keep the age pretty relative. Uh, you can ask your title officer or just go on public records and scale, uh, uh, extract, you know, what the sort of relative average age is for who's purchasing in that area. Gender, both. Budget, minimum $5 a day. Placement. 
uh, place, Facebook is going to ask you about placement. Where do you want it to go? And the, the, the default setting is everywhere. So Instagram, Facebook, newsfeed, sidebar, all over. I found that the, the best um, per dollar per lead is with Facebook, desktop, and mobile feeds. Uncheck everything else, only for the news feed. Uncheck everything else. And then for mobile, make it so that it's Wi-Fi only. If you think about people that are on Wi-Fi, typically when they're on their phones, they're on Wi-Fi. They're either at a coffee shop or they're um, you know, at an office waiting on something or they're at home with not much to do. So they have the time to scroll through. When they're on you know, LTE or, or, or just you know, not Wi-Fi, um, your ad might be kind of a wasted reach to that market. So for mobile, I highly recommend Wi-Fi. Uh, and then detail targeting right here. So this is the cool part. This is what Facebook gives you the ability to do. Targeting. Uh, a lot of people know that Facebook real, recently came across some issues with targeting. Um, so it, it affected things a little bit. This is the updated version. All right. We're going to show you this uh, live as well. So targeting. We're going to include real estate under interest likely to move under behavior, renter for this specific homes list funnel under demographic, and then income if applicable. So if you're running a list for an area that's a very high needed income, then we wanna run that because we don't wanna waste money on uh, folks with lower income for a certain homes list. So remember, we wanna make it relative to the ads. Exclude, sorry everyone, the reason why you don't see my ads is because I exclude you under job title. I don't let you see my ads, I don't wanna spend the money on it. So remember, everybody take that little trick, exclude realtor, uh, exclude realtor broker. And then also when you exclude B2B industry, you're going to exclude like title officers and lenders and things like that. Now, a lot of people think, hey, well, they buy homes too. Yeah, they do. And they also know 100 real estate agents. So they're probably not going to use you if they just see the ad. So you're not really missing out on anything. I promise you. <clears throat> so let's build it together. All right. Um, maybe if there's any questions right now, John, uh, yeah. if you want to. Yeah. If you guys have anything, you know, dump it in there. I know James was asking if you'll uh, make the slides available. So I'm um, yeah. Put that out for you guys. So good to go, man. Let's rock it. This is great. Okay, sweet. No problem. All right. So we should still be shared. I'm going to start with, um, let's start with the funnel on click funnels. Okay. <clears throat> So here is the, and, and guys, what I, and gals, what I did for this was I pre, I basically stripped everything. So I'm not just showing you like a finished product with the Facebook ads manager. I sort of stripped all that, but with click funnels, I'm going to give you the end. I'm going to give you the, the link to click to completely swipe this funnel to copy it uh, because we just don't have a whole lot of time to build it from scratch on this. But uh, this is click funnels. Okay. This is the software. Um, we click right here on our funnels. <clears throat> and then under recent, I'm going to click my homes list funnel. Okay. And now I have a landing page and I have a thank you page. So let's go to the landing page first, because as soon as they click on the ad, this is what it's going to take them to. All right. Um, actually, let me go to, uh, to just hey, Chase, what is, what is, um, just kind of the basic subscription to click funnels. What is that? What would that cost everybody? Okay, perfect. So the subscription to click funnels is $97 a month. And uh, on the last slide, I'll give you a link uh, for a 14 day free trial. So you can go through, you can mess around with it. And then if you don't like it, you can cancel it. Um, I do want to fully disclose uh, click funnels does have an affiliate program set up. So I do want to disclose it is an affiliate link. But with that affiliate link, I'm able to give you a 14-day free trial uh, instead of just starting in the beginning paying. 97 a month, um, I, I, I think that this is the best landing page converter. There's also a company called Lead Pages. They're the same price, but ClickFunnels for me just converts much better. So it's about what you're going to pay, um, and it's a killer, killer software. So let's go ahead and uh, check this funnel out, and I'll show you guys sort of what I'm doing here. <clears throat> okay, so um, you want to make it so that it's a very, very attractive photo, uh, maybe an aerial photo of the, the city that you're running the homes list in, 
or uh, maybe it's a, a really nice looking front photo, like a twilight shot. But this is a great photo. I live in a place called Pacific Beach. So uh, if you've been here, you'd love to live here, especially if you saw a photo like this. There's great contrast. And, uh, and rule of thirds, too. Notice how over here I have the ocean. You have the road right here. And then you have the houses right here. So it's just a really attractive professional photo. It's a key element to the landing page. So welcome to San Diego Homes List. Enter your information to get a free list of homes for sale priced under 500000 Some of these homes even qualify for special financing programs. So this is what I mean by the copy. All right, so you might put in here, get a free list of um, off-market homes coming soon, not yet seen on Zillow, or get a free list of homes um, that, uh, you know, whatever it may be, that are 20% under the median home value for, for your area. Whatever your ad says, this is what you want the lander to say. You want it to be streamlined. All right, first name, last name, email, phone number. Those are necessities. You always want to do first name, last name, email, phone number. Now, here's the cool little ninja trick, okay? So, would you like a free below market value homes list for San Diego? Yes, I would love that. Now, ding, 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 here we go. Are you a homeowner? Let's say you're not and you're just a renter. Okay, great, submit. Let's say you're a homeowner. Here's, what it called, here's what's called the, the survey or the questionnaire rules. I use WooFoo. Uh, this is the form rules. So, they clicked homeowner, and notice how when they clicked homeowner, that popped up. Okay, would you like a free report of what your current home would sell for on the market? All right, I like using a term instead of would you like a free home valuation, because a lot of people are interested in what their home's worth because they want to know how much equity they have. But you'll get more qualified leads when you put in would you like a free report of what your current home would sell for on the market. So it's a little bit of an extra copywriting technique, all right? Yes, I would love that. Perfect. What's your home street address and your zip code? So now you have their home street address, you have their zip code, you have their first name, you have their last name. So now you can um, send it to them by email, you can call them, you can mail it to them, or uh, I do a super ninja tactic that I, I teach a lot in the classes. With Uber, I put in a... Uh, a like a pre-listing packet with the home valuation report, put it in a manila envelope and have an Uber go drop it off. So now you can take things to the next level and build back in that human element. <clears throat> so they, they enter in their information. Uh, let's just do mine real quick so you can kind of see where this takes me. Maher, Chase Maher one at gmail.com. I put my phone number, I'll get a ton of text messages. Yes, I would like that. I'm just going to say I'm a renter for now. Um, perfect. I think I'm good. Okay, submit. <clears throat> so now, excuse me, I was editing this ad. I made a total mistake and I didn't change the photo on the um, thank you page. So I apologize about that. You want the photo to be the same photo, okay? So we'll reach out with your homes list shortly. If you have any specific questions, finding a new home, the buying process, or even getting a loan, feel free to call or text. Here's my information. Um, perfect. So definitely you want to make sure that it's the same photo. So that's sort of how ClickFunnels works. Um, and if we want to go through and we want to edit uh, the, the, the pages, okay, it's very, very simple. <clears throat> Okay, so we can, um, we can change the background image, we can um, change the sales copy, um, you can see how it's highlighting here, you can change certain rows and what it all looks like, okay? Um, so it's super simple to use. Uh, you can find tons of instructions on ClickFunnels on how to use it. There's certain free boot camps that you can take, um, but that's a, a little bit about ClickFunnels, okay? So now right here, you'll see custom JavaScript HTML. That was the form, the questionnaire that I filled out using WooFoo, which cost, I think, about $15 a month. So with WooFoo, which I have set up right here, 
uh, a couple cool things that you can do. So let's check on, uh, let's look at edit the form, okay? So you're able to drag and drop all this. It makes it very easy. So you can select over here, swing it over to here, first name, last name, email, mobile, and then you start adding in these. You can add in, um, you know, check boxes, drop downs, multiple choice, all kinds of stuff over here. All right. You want to put everything over here. Then you want to save it. And then to add in the certain rules, you go into rules. So now, under rules, if they check homeowner, it shows would you like a free report? If they check yes, it shows what is your street address and what is your zip code. So that's how you add in the drop down. All right. <clears throat> so now, <clears throat> we want to talk about how are we going to get the lead that opts into our WUFU form, opts into our landing page, how are we going to get them into our CRM? So add notifications. So here with notifications, see this uh, email address right here? That's where all the leads are going to go to. So you could do your Gmail or your EXP or your, your personal email address, and you're going to get a ton of leads because it's going to work. Or you could automate it by going to your KV Core, and all CRMs have this. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how to do it in KV Core. All right, go to Lead Engine. Go to Lead Dropbox. So this is where you sync lead sources. Lead Dropbox. Then you're going to copy this email address. It's particular to you. So this is Chase Maher's. Uh, you know, feel free to copy mine if you want. I don't mind taking people's leads. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. But make sure you copy yours, not mine. <laughs> All right. Copy it. And then you're going to paste it into here. And then you're going to click save. And now all the leads are going to go into your KV core. And then with KV core, something that we don't have a whole lot of time to get into because we still have to get to the traffic campaign. But the ways in KV Core to automate it is going, you're gonna to go to Marketing Autopilot and you're gonna create a hashtag for every lead that comes through that Facebook ad. If you, if you have any questions about that, just go to Inside Real Estate, the company that owns KV Core, they have tons of good training. You're gonna create a hashtag so that every lead that comes from that Facebook ad has a hashtag, maybe San Diego Homes List, hashtag San Diego Homes List. And you're going to set them up on a smart campaign. So you do the work up front, everybody. That way, when you run the ads, most of the work is done. And all you have to do is, is pick up the phone. So with smart campaigns, um, grab a template that works for you. Optimize it a little bit. Make sure the first email has that free offer, okay? That free offer that you, that you, that you put in there, all right? Create the emails. Create the text message create the call scheduling with your tasks and then set the campaign. So now you have um, generated the funnel, you've automated KV core, um, you have uh, created the hashtag so that all the leads go into this campaign and it automatically emails them, texts them, alerts you to pick up the phone to call them. It just makes it very, very easy so that you can do the work up front, automate it, and start driving traffic there. <clears throat> so, um, any questions on that so far before we get into the Facebook Ads Manager, John? No, nope, no questions. If you guys think of anything or have any questions, um, drop it in the chat box or hit, hit it up uh, in the Q&A. Awesome, cool deal. So now, let's, uh, let's go over how we're going to generate these Facebook leads. <clears throat> Move this out of the way. So uh, this is my Facebook group, Real Estate Entrepreneur Group. So over here on the right, we're going to click this drop down. All right. We're going to go to create ads. And I, I cleaned out everything out of here, out of this specific ad account so that we're just starting complete from scratch on how to generate ads for this specific campaign. That way, it's not like I have it already built and I just run through it really quick. We're going to do it from scratch together, okay? So 
when you go to uh, create ads, remember what I was talking about, awareness, consideration, and conversion. Okay, we're gonna go to traffic. All right, now the um, campaign name, uh, we can just call this uh, like um, SD Home, SD Homes this traffic, okay? Um, for the future, I don't know why that ended, sorry guys. For the future, <clears throat> um, you can split test A and B and you can optimize the budget, but let's just, uh, let's just go through for now and, uh, and, and go through it uh, very general, okay? I need to select my ad account, sorry about that. Okay, now we're in the right spot. So traffic. SD homes list traffic. Okay, continue. <clears throat> okay, so. Ad set name, S-D-R-E, general. We're gonna keep it very general. Um, choose where you want to drive traffic. So you can choose whether you wanna take them to a website or a landing page, uh, whether you wanna take them to an app or to Messenger. So we wanna take them to a website, that's our landing page. Uh, we don't have a, a, an offer that we wanna put through Facebook, our offers on our landing page, so you can leave that off, all right? Um, want to go ahead and bring up the traffic strategy so we can do exactly like what we talked about. There it is. Perfect. Okay, so we want to uh, create a, uh, a, a, an audience, okay? So create new, custom. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Actually, we want to start with location. So 92109 is our uh, Pacific Beach zip code. Okay. Age. Uh, let's see. Pacific Beach Home Buyer's Guide. Most of them are going to be, uh, let's say, 30 to 55. Okay. all don't need to mess with uh with language or anything like that so custom audience is like uh maybe you have a look-alike audience you have an ad that's worked really well in the past you want to use that or uh you want to upload an audience uh maybe your crm you can upload all the emails into there so we want to start with location <clears throat> now down here this is where you include and exclude people so remember we wanted to include uh real estate under interest Browse, interest, real estate, <clears throat> boom. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna include people who match at least one of the following. They don't have to match all of them, okay? So the next one is gonna be likely to move. <clears throat> all right, and now the cool thing about this is it's done uh, with a company and a, a third party company called Partner Category Epsilon. And what they've done is uh, they've basically run certain surveys, certain, uh, certain uh, you know, they've gathered information that makes it look like somebody's likely to move. All right, so we wanna add that in. The next one is uh, renter under demographic. And then we'll leave income off for now, okay? So now we wanna go into exclude, okay? So who do we wanna exclude? We wanna exclude everybody that's like us so that they're not looking at our ads. So realtor under job title, realtor broker, 
real estate broker. Uh, and then uh, um, real estate B2B. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just leave realtor and real estate broker right now. I don't want to take too much time trying to find B2B. All right, so expand interest when it may increase link clicks at a lower cost per link click. So right now, um, we have a potential reach of 22,000, that's pretty good. Uh, if you're like in this specific range, then you might wanna click that as it's gonna sort of increase a little bit, potential reach 47,000. But um, I generally feel like we're already in a good range right here of the definition of the audience, that that is not necessarily needed. All right, so now we're going to save this audience. Okay, now placements. Remember, we talked about under placement how we wanted to um, we wanted to do the Facebook news feed and uncheck everything else. So here's what I'm talking about with that. They're going to do automatic placement. We want to go to edit placement. All right, all devices, mobile and desktop. Now we only wanna be on Facebook feeds. So we wanna uncheck everything else. Okay. Now here under all mobile devices, only when connected to Wi-Fi. Okay. Daily budget, $5 a day. Run my ad set continuously starting today or you can set a start date. So if you're doing this for maybe an open house, you can set a start date, all right? And then continue. <clears throat> Single image is what I'm gonna use for this ad. Not no to full screen experience. Okay, so now specify an image. So let's go ahead and, and uh, put an image in here, the same image as uh, the one from the landing page. Okay. <clears throat> now, website URL. So when you, uh, when you sign up for ClickFunnels and you start using that, you're gonna have to uh, generate a website URL. So you can go to godaddy.com and, and get plenty of URLs there. The one that I use is San Diego Homes List.co. Uh, .co is like a fraction of the cost of a .com. It doesn't make a difference. And you wanna make it so that it's relative to the ad. So if you're sending out a buyer's guide, then maybe it's San Diego homebuyersguide.co. If you're sending out a property valuation, uh, sdpropertyvaluation.co. You want to make the website URL congruent with the ad and the copy, everything streamlined. Okay. So, homes list. Uh, this is the headline. So, we're going to do uh, Pacific Beach under 500K. <clears throat> call to action. If you see over here, this is your call to action, your CTA, learn more. So you can select uh, apply, book, contact us, all that. So if you're running like an engagement ad, you might do a contact us. Uh, if you want to send them to uh, a messenger bot, you might do send message. So let's just stick with learn more for now. All right. Now, here's where the text comes in. This is the copy, okay? Um, we wanna do something that's going to stop the scroll, interrupt the scroll. So um, one thing that I, I use quite often is um, I, I like to attack Zillow. <clears throat> you wanna throw stones at your competition, right? So um, maybe tired of um, seeing homes on Zillow that 
have a thousand views or um, tired of seeing homes on Zillow uh, that aren't even for sale anymore. I mean, that happens all the time here in San Diego. Um, there's homes on Zillow that the agent just never updated because uh, it doesn't automatically populate here. <clears throat> um, but for this one, we're going to do um, um, want a list of homes, 10%, actually, we're going to be 20%, 20% under the local median price point because uh, San Diego, we're at about 600 to 650. So Pacific Beach homes under 500K, this would be accurate, all right? So you could put some more copy in there, some catchy stuff, but I don't wanna run out on time. <clears throat> um, so you wanna stop the scroll. You wanna make it so it's congruent with your headline here, congruent with your landing page, and you wanna make it so that uh, it's something somebody is going to want to click. So maybe throwing stones at Zillow or maybe putting in some great offer there, something that is attractive and it's going to make somebody really want to click it. All right. And then confirm. All right. So now. Um, I'm going to turn the ad off real quick so that I'm not spending money on it. But in essence, once you create it, all your campaigns will be right in here and you'll be able to see what the results are. Reach is how many people have seen it. Impressions is how many people have clicked it and then cost per result. Okay. And then now you'll be able to reap the rewards, reap the benefits in your KV core CRM because leads are going to start going in there and you're going to have alerts to call. You're going to have emails automatically going out, the home search list automatically going out, make the homes list within KV core if possible. So you can track who is seeing which houses, which houses and, and sort of their activity. So you can sort of filter down, um, you know, who are the most active uh, and it's almost all automated until you pick up the phone. So remember to automate the systems, not the conversation. You can go over here to ad sets uh, and examine it this way. And then ads, if you've done split testing, will show you uh, add one, add two, add three, add four, so you can see which ones are working best and turn off the ones that are inferior. <clears throat> Actually, we want to go back to share, and I just want to show you guys the rest of these slides. <clears throat> All right, so we just build it. So when you're using uh, KV Core, uh, have the home search already made within KV Core, uh, have the drip already set in action, use the task to remind yourself within the drip to call and text. And then uh, for seller leads, I, I don't typically do this on buyer leads because it would just take so much time, but within KV Core, you can do a social check for the seller leads uh, and you'll be notified which information that they checked. Uh, you can run a social check. So you can find them on Facebook and shoot them a Facebook message saying, hey, you know, I noticed that you wanted a free property valuation. Would you like it here on Facebook Messenger or would you like me to send it to your house? That way it just builds a little bit more of that conversation with them. So leverage KV Core, we get it at such a great value within EXP that it, uh, it's a no brainer to use all of its resources. Absolutely. So to, um, to get started now, um, I got you guys a free 14 day trial link. I made it super easy so it wasn't that long ClickFunnels um, link. All right, so it's just bit.ly forward slash ClickFunnels Chase. And then once you've opted into that 14 day free trial, I'm giving you the link right here to completely copy my funnel. And all you'll have to do is change your image and change your ad set, your, your copy. You won't have to um, build it from scratch anymore. So that's just bit.ly forward slash copy chases funnel. Um, Wufoo.com is where we use the forms and questionnaires. 
Uh, that's how we copy in the HTML. Um, and then right here is instructions within um, KV Core about how to auto import leads. I, sh I sort of showed you guys, but um, this support.insiderealestate.com is a great resource to learn everything about KV Core. So I highly recommend watching the videos on how to set up smart campaigns to as assign automatic trips. Um, but that's it, uh, everybody. That is, uh, that's how you get ClickFunnels. That's how you copy my funnel. This is where you build out that questionnaire and then copy that into ClickFunnels. And this is where you're going to find your support for KV Core. Awesome. So we've got a couple questions rolling in. Uh, one from, uh, from uh, Matty um, Curcio asking, um, you know, what changes do you make when advertising to buyers in a luxury market? His, his market average is about 200, but there are a few uh, towns around that average over 500. And so just, just how do we, you know, he's just kind of, you know, how do we get those buyers and sellers on our sites? Yeah, that, that's perfect. So um, that's going to be more targeted with a lookalike audience. So you might want to um, find out in a certain market, if you are looking for buyers and you have a neighborhood that uh, is like the luxury neighborhood, run some data uh, on that neighborhood with like maybe a uh, property profile or property radar, whatever it's called, or maybe your title officer. Where are people coming from? What type of job roles do they have? What type of income do they have that are purchasing in that area? Then you're going to run an ad for that area, maybe a coming soon or off market or inviting them to an open house. And you're going to target based off of that data and split test a few ads, find the one that's working, which audience. And then remember, I, I quickly glanced over what's called a lookalike audience. So what a lookalike audience is, is you're going to have maybe doctors, lawyers, uh, physicians, let's just keep it general, that are moving into that neighborhood. And we found, okay, this ad's working really well with this audience. Now we can clone that audience and expand it by doing a lookalike audience. So everybody that looks on the internet like them in terms of their likes, their interests, their income, and now we can build a broader audience. So that's gonna take a little bit more work to niche down to a luxury market, but I would highly recommend uh, getting the data for that neighborhood, building the targeting list, and then cloning it and doing a lookalike audience. Love it. And remember with, remember with luxury, use really great photos and really great copy, um, and you're gonna have to tailor it towards that market. Awesome. Jennifer had a question on what other um, value, what other offers uh, do you use other than home list? So uh, homes list, uh, property valuation, um, home seller guide, home buyer guide, um, and, and make it catchy. Um, it might be like a list, like uh, seven things sellers don't know. Um, seven things realtors won't tell you that will increase your home value today. Um, certain things like that you want to use and you want to give out that for free. The more information you can give out for free, the more they're going to like you and trust you and work with you in the end if you have great follow up. So, home buyer guide, home seller guide, property valuation, homes list, checklist, uh, maybe an ebook. Um, it's, it gets overwhelming thinking of all the lead magnets. So, just start with one, figure that out, nail it down, put the systems in place correct it, perfect it, optimize it, then move on to the next one. You don't need to have every lead magnet at once. Just start with one that works for you for now. Yeah, absolutely. Joyce was asking, you know, she's just starting out and, you know, just some questions about the KV Core platform and, and utilizing the landing pages and squeeze pages that they have inside of there. Yeah, so I honestly, I haven't toyed around with the landing pages and squeeze pages inside of KV core because I'm just such a fan of, of click So, uh, I would recommend going to this website support.insiderealestate.com. If you want to use the, uh, landing pages inside of there, um, then by all means, I'm sure there's some training there. Uh, I don't personally use them. I prefer click funnels. And so I, I would hate to, uh, try to educate or talk on a topic that I'm just not that aware of. So, um, man, great, great, great information. And, and, you know, everything that you shared. So ho hopefully everybody is going to take advantage of this and run. And so using a $5 per day spend, buying a domain, 
getting set up for Wufu and set up for ClickFunnels. Um, two hundred and seventy-two dollars investment per day, you know, per per month to generate some opportunities now. Plus your fifty-dollar platform fee that you're already paying for with EXP. I mean, you're you're in for a little over three hundred bucks, and you're you're generating some opportunities today. That's amazing. And so, um, hopefully, you guys. Man, let, let's let's even extrapolate that, John. At five dollars a day, and we're averaging two to five dollars a lead uh, through ClickFunnels. And so let's say out of a hundred leads, we convert three to five, let's go low and say three convert to clients over a six month period. Think about that as compared to Zillow. Uh, and you're looking at, at $272, you're going to generate, um, you know, maybe 60 to a hundred leads. That's like bare minimum. And out of those 60 to a hundred, that's three sales. So I don't know what your average commission is in your market, but do the math and, pretty ridiculous and KV core gives you all the tools to automate that follow-up so that all your you and your agents are doing is picking up the phone so I know Zillow and realtor.com are easy and this is a little bit more difficult to set up but reap the rewards with your bank account later I, I, I promise you that's awesome man I appreciate it um, Chris just mentioned that uh, he tried to um, on the funnel on, on your uh, the bit.ly the links he said they weren't working so um, Chris really? Chase will take a look at it and, and make sure that they're working for you guys. Um, it's working for me. So, uh, Chris, can you try using the, um, the HTTP semicolon forward slash forward slash and completely type it out? Cause it's, it, it just worked for me. It's going to give it a try. Cool. Everybody else is getting in, so we'll get uh the the thing so with, with click funnels you have to fully type things out. So uh one one tip I'm really happy that, that Chris brought that up. When you guys notice how when I put in the ww.com San Diego co in my Facebook ad, with click funnels you have to put in the www dot. You have to, you can't just start with San Diego homes list.co. So remember that when you're putting that into the website you want to take people to, you have to put the www dot for it to work. Cool. It's awesome. Um, best way to get a hold of you, um, Chase, for everybody, if they have any questions, want to connect, what, uh, what would you say? Um, please uh, join the Facebook group, real estate entrepreneur group. Find me in there. I do uh, a tips video every Tuesday that you can jump on live and ask me questions. Um, find me in there. You can follow me on Instagram at chase.maher. And um, John, I don't know if you have a way where I can send these slides out to people or if they want it, they could either message me on Facebook uh, through the Facebook group or you can email me chase at chasemaher.com, however you want. And I'll, I'll send these, uh, these slides out. I wanna make it easy on everybody. Absolutely. And we'll get the, uh, the recording, the replay of this, uh, of this episode up into the Facebook group and then dumped into the expert mentors tool. And man, Chase, I appreciate you. Amazing, amazing call. Thank you for adding value and really being a true expert mentor and, and helping everybody out today. Um, for those of you guys on the call or listen to the recording, man, please share some love for Chase and uh, also your biggest takeaway. And uh, man, if you, you know, really appreciate it. And if you guys are wanting to add value and be an expert mentor yourself, just message me and we'll get you in the lineup. We've got uh, some amazing, some amazing more uh, value coming your way in, in the next uh, three, four, five weeks already lined up. So we're super excited. And Chase, again, man, thank you. Great stuff. And uh, hopefully you guys will take advantage of what, uh, what Chase just delivered to all of you guys today. Awesome. awesome. I appreciate it, everybody. I appreciate you, John, and, and all of EXP. Let's, uh, let's get out there and, and create some leads and sell some houses. I love it. Take care. See you guys.